Hey guys, it's Taya back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing the wet look for you guys. I've seen it going all around YouTube and initially I was kind of skeptical and was like, uh, I don't know if my hair is going to lay down. So what I did was I went on ahead and I did the look. And then I decided to go ahead and film it. I really, really like the way it turned out. I think it turned out amazing. You guys can be the judge. And let me know how you guys feel about this. <laughs> um, I didn't see a lot of four, like type four hair videos on it. I did go on YouTube and try to find some videos. And I decided, well, why don't I just go ahead and make a video since I do have type four hair. If you guys haven't already done so, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to all my return subscribers. Hey, Hans. And for future notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. If you guys want to see how I get this wet look <laughs> on my type four hair, giving me beach vibes or whatever, then you guys just keep watching. <laughs> So I went on ahead and I used the Whole Blends line and I also use the Kinky Curly. So this is just a regular conditioner. You guys know I've told you in the past that I like to use regular conditioners as my leave-in sometimes. I mix this with the Kinky Curly, not today, just to make sure that my hair was nice and detangled. I'm also going to be using my spray bottle. This has warm water in here. Um, my hair has been sitting for about a little bit over an hour now, so I need to go ahead and refresh with some warm water. I'm also going to be using my Argan Oil uh, Cream of Nature, and this is their Styling Mousse. I'm also going to be using this Sasha Pure. Remember that I have like a little serum, and this is just going to help control the frizz. So this is my Demo Brush, you guys can see. Just gonna be using that just kind of smooth my hair out for this look we're gonna be going ahead with the blue wet line my clear one is almost done y'all so I pretty much have gone run out of that so yeah and then a little bit of spritz at the end just for holes so I guess the first thing I'm gonna be doing is splitting this section in half and just kind of going in with my spray bottle of course you know this is the wet look you want your hair to be extra wet so i'm just making sure my hair is nice and saturated and then since it's still nice and moisturized i don't think i need any more conditioner i may go on with just a little bit so like that much conditioner. It's still pretty nice and conditioned, but you know, you wanna make sure your hair is nice and moisturized, especially if you're gonna be using a lot of gel. So yeah, that looks good. And I use, um, I know some people ask me like, whoa, like when I tell them my leave-in, they be like, oh, what leave-in do you use? How do you get your hair across the pop and stuff? Like when I tell y'all, no lie guys, I use, regular conditioner I just use what works it's cheap <laughs> so we be starting off just taking some of that wet line and just take about that much you guys are gonna need a lot of gel I know most of the tutorials I've seen they pretty much use a lot of gel so just gonna be laying that down Moving that out. And just making sure the ends are nice and coated. And I think after I put the gel, I'm gonna add some serum. And that's just to help with the shine. And last but not least, I'm gonna take um, Cream of Nature, just a couple pumps, I thought it was too much, and just kind of lay it on there, just to kind of hold everything in place. I found that when I used this the last time, I used it like only on the top section of my hair, and it laid it down pretty good, so this time I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just go through and use it while I'm, you know, 
while I'm doing the whole hair. So this is how that first section is looking so far. So just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. And same thing, just spraying my hair down with a little bit of water. And I feel like for this look, you guys, like the more water, the better. It definitely is messy, but it's cool. I mean, it is the wet look, so you definitely want your hair. <laughs> you definitely want your hair to be nice and wet and a little bit more conditioner. Just because the gel, since we're using so much gel, I just want to make sure my hair is nice and, you know, moisturized on the inside. I'm just going to add the gel. Comment down below if you tried this look and how you like it and like what did you use when you did this look. I've seen people use like the Eco. And Eco definitely gives a strong hold, so. I'm sure that's why it works really well. And I just wanna show you guys the back quickly. Then I'm gonna take my dimming brush just to make sure it was nice and flat. Okay guys, I'm just gonna keep going. Since this is the middle part, I want to make sure that you get the gel nice and laid. And of course, don't forget your ends. That's what's really going to give it that nice, wavy kind of look. And don't go through your ends with your dimming brush because you don't want to. You know. Watch your curls. And I know it's like a lot of white residue, but it should go away hopefully. So going in with a little bit more serum water and of 
course, opening moves back because I know that that was what helped me the last time. Now I'm just gonna work on the other side. Well, so far, it's looking cute. <laughs> down below how y'all feeling about this whole wet look do y'all like it <laughs> do y'all think it's overrated are y'all sick and tired seeing it i like it like i'm not gonna lie i think it is cute it's a vibe it definitely is a vibe and this one actually looks better than my last one so yeah I will say that it definitely is looking a lot better than my last one. So, I guess the products that I chose to use this time around really made a difference. But yeah, y'all, look at that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, girl looking cute without body. And I love this color. I did color my hair this weekend, y'all. Um, this past weekend. Today is what? Tuesday. So I colored it on, on Saturday. And um, yeah, I'm feeling this color. Like, whoop. This is really pretty. I'm really feeling this wet look situation. Let me turn around and show you guys how the back is looking. Chat thing. Did I do a good job? Do y'all like it? <laughs> I think it looks cute. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do a little something, something to my edges. And um, then I'm gonna just tie my scarf on it, honestly. That's it, you guys. I'm just going to take my scarf. Show you guys how it's looking. Both sides. Just take my scarf and just lay it down. Okay, guys, so this is the next day. I took this scarf off because it actually gave me like a little dent right here so I went on ahead and kind of just refreshed it a little bit so now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the scarf off and just show you guys the final look Ooh, girl <laughs> you looking kind of cute honey I love it you guys I think it is so bomb I love this wet look like I think my hair did such a good job it definitely responded and took well to it so let me know what you guys think <laughs> did i do a good job let me um kind of zoom in a little bit so you guys can see even better and with my new hair color i'm just really loving this this is like going to be my new summertime go-to so yeah and let me go ahead and show you guys the back as well the sides okay guys so that is it for me i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this one i will talk to you guys in the next one stay blessed